Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video which is an Ikea haul. Yes, I have been back to Ikea. I've been back actually a couple of times. I thought I'd just show you some of the pieces which I picked up on my trips there. We all know that I love a good trip to Ikea and I love filming these videos for you guys. Also, I went to another home shop called Neptune which is the most beautiful home shop ever. I actually took a few clips of us shopping in Neptune. So I'm gonna add that to the end of this video and I bought a couple of items from there, which you can also watch at the end if you are interested in that as well. It's all home related. As always with Ikea, I'm not gonna be able to say the names of half of the items. I won't remember the price of everything either. So I will put the price somewhere on the screen with the item I'm holding so that you can see what the price is. And let's just jump straight in to some Ikea items. So first of all from Ikea, it's actually a repeat item from my last haul. It is these lights which we bought for our sides of our bed. So for the bedside tables and they hang down from the ceiling. The bottom part of the light looks like that. It is massive. That's kind of the picture on the screen there I'm showing you. And it is glass all like this. And then you have the bulb in the inside there. And then we bought the bits hang down from the ceiling like this and that was in the gold color. We have actually already put one of these on the bedside. So I will insert a clip here of what it looks like. I really, really love it against our wall, against the paneling next to our bed. I just really feel like it is starting to finish off the room. And then when Aid was attaching the other light to the, the other side of the bed, which is actually my side of the bed, the cord on the light broke it kind of snapped and then he couldn't get the light level to match the one on the other side of the bed so we had to go back to ikea to purchase this bit so we drove back got this bit got home thought that was the end of it and then i was clearing up something in our room and i ended up chucking something and it landed on top of this glass bowl bit which of course just shattered straight away and so we then needed to go back to Ikea to get the glass bowl bit. Next up I picked up just a couple of these plain white plastic tubs to go in our kitchen cupboards. I've already got a couple of these in there and then hopefully I will get some labels to go across there and everything can be nice and organised. 2020 is all about living that organized life and trying to declutter and sort everything out. I then ended up picking up three of these little vases here and three of the little flowers. I really wanted just one flower and then I was gonna think of something else to put in these, but the twins did want a flower each for their bedroom, so we did get a couple of those as well. They're very inexpensive and they just wanted something for their room, so I thought, why not pick up a little flower? So we've got a pink one and a little white one there, which are quite cute and sweet on their own. If I just show you one of the vases on its own, you can just see it's a really sweet, small little vase in this rounded shape at the bottom with the long kind of top bit. It's got this swirling pattern design on it. I thought it was really sweet and very, very inexpensive. I'm pretty sure it was only 50p. I thought that was an amazing little vase and doesn't look only 50p at all. I was thinking for this, we'll put this on Alexa's new bedside table. So if you see my home updates video, which I'll also link down below, she's got some new little bedside butler trays and I thought that this would go really nice to go on top of there. Also, we bought a new little shelf for our downstairs toilet and I thought that, that would go really sweet in our downstairs loo as well. Then I have a little bit of a basic buy. I got a couple of hangers. So I got some for the kids, just this plain white wooden hangers. They just needed more because I keep buying clothes for them all. If you watch my channel, you know I'm obsessed with buying them clothes. So we always need nice new hangers and I love these wooden white ones. I've got a new rail in my bedroom. I'll insert a clip of that there as well because I love it. It's from Argos. I'll also link that down below. And I just got these hangers to go on top of there so I can hang like new items, like new clothing pieces I've got and pieces I'm gonna show in hauls and things. I can put on that rail and it's all ready to go. So another repeat buy from my last Ikea haul are these cushions. So a couple of the things in this haul are repeat buys because I loved them so much from my last Ikea haul. So I picked up two of these white cushions. They are just the perfect like plumpness, yet softness and comfiness in a cushion, if that makes sense. So they look really nice for decorative purposes. You can get that perfect karate chop in them because they're nice and plump, but they also feel so comfy and soft to sit on. So definitely serve both purposes. We put the other two in our living room and these are just to go on the other little sofa in our living room as well. Also for our living room, I've got a couple of throws. Our living room is a room that we still haven't touched much. I haven't bought much furniture for in there yet because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with the room. So I don't really want to go in all guns blazing buying furniture when I don't have a vision 
of how I see that room. I don't know if anyone takes as long to make a decision about anything like I do, but I really don't want to get anything until I know what I want to do with the room. At the moment, we just chuck any odd throw onto the sofa and they're all mismatched. So I thought I'd just buy some nice little throws that can go on both sofas and match together. So I picked up this gray one and it wasn't very expensive at all. I'm pretty sure it was around the 12 to 13 pounds mark. They are just to protect the sofa. We have got four kids. So we do need to protect our sofas because it's hard to keep sofas clean when you do have four kids. It's got this gorgeous gray pattern design on it. I'm not sure what the name is for that, but it probably has got a name for it. And then it's got this white fringing along it. It's 120 times 180 centimeters. So I thought it'd be long enough to cover both sofas. It looks like it'd be long enough in the shop. So I'm hoping it will at home. I bought a cheap plastic chopping board. I just needed one for the kitchen. I just wanted a cheap plastic one because we've got a lot of wooden chopping boards, but I don't like using them because I feel like if you cut meat or things that have got juices in the wood on top of a wood chopping board, the wood soaks it up a little bit. And I just hate the thought of that. Obviously I clean my chopping boards and all of that, but I just never feel like it would be clean enough. So I just wanted a cheap, plasticky one just to cut meats especially meats on there i mean we don't actually cut up that much meat because we tend to already buy diced chicken or we eat a lot of corn chicken which is already diced i've just gone a really long winded rambly way to tell you that i just wanted a white cheap chopping board so another reoccurring item from my last haul is the curtains and the curtain pole so i don't want this to be really boring because i'm showing you some items i've already showed you before we have actually put up the curtains in our room so I thought I would insert a clip of that there in here now and you can see what it looks like I just am really really pleased with them that I decided to then get them for Alexa's room because they just have that luxe feel and I really loved the curtain pole as well and I thought I'd change her curtain pole her curtain pole was one we just bought from B&M really quick made the decision and I've just never really been in love with it whereas I am in love with this one I'm literally just showing you a long cardboard box you're probably like where is the curtain pole it is this kind of off white cream curtain pole with the rounded edge they are incredible and if you are looking for curtains in this kind of shape and style then definitely get these ikea ones on it to a couple of pictures and frames which i have got i'm actually gonna put these in our downstairs loo again if you watch my last haul i bought some frames and some pictures to go in the loo which i still really really like but i'm just gonna move them to another area in our house because i wanted something a bit bigger when we got the other frames onto the wall it just didn't look big enough for the gap that i wanted so we ended up picking up these frames here and we decided to go for black I did actually want a different frame but Ikea are really quite low on like frames and mirrors and things at the moment because everyone has gone to Ikea and shopped it. This is 40 times 50 centimetres. And to go inside these frames I just got these plain prints of a eucalyptus stem and leaves. So that's the leaf one, it's just green with a plain white background, very very simple, very very plain and very very my kind of style and then there is the eucalyptus one there just some really nice prints to add a little bit of greenery freshen up the wall and have something going on on there but not too much ended up picking up this coloring book this was just something that we only picked up because the kids were with us and they wanted something and they had lots and lots of books in the kids section which were down to two pounds some of them were like 18 pound down to two pound but we just didn't really need any of them but we ended up picking up this coloring book anyway it's all like funky crazy designs in there so I'm sure the girls will love it actually I think they've forgotten about it I don't think they even remember that we picked this up but it's always handy to have a colouring book isn't it I'm sure I use it at some point that was only two pound also in Ikea I bought a couple of these dome jars dome vases I'm not quite sure what you call them but the reason I picked up these is because I seen some of these in Neptune and I just knew Ikea had some and I thought I'm not going to get them in here because I know Ikea will do them for less money and they do a whole different range so I think this is more their medium range, mid range size, they do a bigger one than this, they do a few smaller ones than this and these look really really nice if you put a candle on a bedside table and put this over the top so I did buy two, one for Lex's bedside table and one for our bedside table in our room I just think that that is going to go really really sweet and that's another reason why I do like going around shops like Neptune because you can pull ideas and although you might not want to go and spend £50 on a vase you can take the ideas and go somewhere where you might know that they do something similar and pick it up there. The last thing I want to show you from our Ikea haul is this rug here 
this was our like big purchase of a haul and I really really love it I thought it'd be better to show you with it all out because it's hard to see it when it's all wrapped up in its packaging but we went for this kind of jute style rug we have had this out for a few days now if you see a crumb here or there that will be why we eat on top of it so the kids sometimes spill things but it's a rug that hides any kind of mark really well i think so that's another plus it makes it a nice good rug for a like dining kitchen area so yeah just really really happy with it it's the same one that matches the rug that we got in our utility room so it brings both the rooms together and i'm just really really happy with how it looks underneath our table it's a really nice size i was worried at the time that it wasn't going to be big enough to fit our dining table on but it turns out it's perfect fits and there's loads of room around it so i am absolutely loving this rug from ikea i also get asked all the time about our table it's actually a loaf table but we bought it on facebook marketplace so we ended up getting it for a really really good price i just realized i filmed all that without the light on so i just put the light on and not sure if you can see it a bit more better there but that is the rug with the light on now we are coming on to the Neptune part of the haul. As I said, Neptune is a home store if you live in the UK and it is just gorgeous. Honestly, they have stunning showrooms and stunning pieces of furniture. I will insert a couple of clips of us in the showroom and showing you bits in there because it's, it's good to have home inspiration. I love going in there and looking around and grabbing ideas which I want to create in my own home and then maybe items which I think do you know what? I really love that and I'm going to save up a little bit and hopefully purchase that. It is definitely a more expensive shop, but I feel like the pieces that you get from there are just items which you will keep forever and are just timeless, classic and worth the investment. Yeah, I try to just pick up one or two items in there when I can and also to just get ideas and inspiration for my home as well. So I'll show you the vlog bit and then there'll be a couple of items just at the end to show you. I don't have on me because I'm waiting for it to be delivered it was something we ordered because they were out of stock in store they had some amazing ones on display but we weren't allowed to take the display ones we had to wait for it to be ordered so I'll put a picture from the website on here now of what I've ordered and this vase here is going to go in the middle of our dining table I just love it I love the whole shape of it I love the gray concrete style look of it and I think it's just a really really beautiful centerpiece of a table I just think it's going to be classic timeless and we'll take it with us for the rest of our home journey do you know it's just going to be something that we'll keep I mean lo and behold the kids don't break it I think I would lose my head if they do so I am hoping it will last us the test of time but because I couldn't bring home that vase with me I really wanted to bring home another vase that I could put on the table just for the time being until the new vase has come and I picked up this one which is again such a beautiful beautiful vase it is really really big and this wasn't even their large size I think this is the medium size it also does come with a lid so you don't have to have the flowers in there the flowers came separate I'll go on to them in a minute but I just think when the other vase comes and I put that on the middle of a the table then this one will also move to either our living room or another part of our kitchen there'll always be another 
room and space for this jar so I didn't mind buying the two because again it's investing in pieces from my home which I know I will keep forever and then also these eucalyptus leaves in here so I have got three stems in here I don't know if I can pull one out it might be a bit difficult they're 14 pound each which is again a little bit more pricey but they're fake so they are going to last forever or for as long as you want them to so I think that they look really real they look really really nice I do have the Ikea eucalyptus but I think that this compared just looks so much more better. I can't really explain it. I do love the Ikea ones, don't get me wrong, I love them. But this just gives something more. And these are actually displayed in the vase that I did get for the tables. So we'll transfer them when the new vase comes and then something else will go into this. And then lastly, from Neptune, like I said, it was only a few items. I then got this vase as well. And this is just a white jug vase. Again, it is quite big. But this is beautiful and I think I'm going to put this one on the kitchen windowsill with a few flowers on it. I have a vase on there at the moment which has a few of the Ikea eucalyptus stems in it so I will probably just put those in this one. So that brings me to the end of my Ikea haul and home haul. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all keeping really, really well and I shall see you all in a video very soon.